Today I bring you and the stock prices with Netflix. And what did I hear? Netflix is adding games in the next year. Now, you know what? This had to be done, right? This had to be done. Netflix has hired Mike Verde, formerly an EA of Facebook Oculus as Vice President of Game Development. The idea is to offer video games on Netflix streaming platform within the next year. The story says, whilst also reporting that the company doesn't currently plan to charge extra for the content. Wow, what an upgrade, what an absolute upgrade. But it's really important how this is gonna be measured. Netflix executives have no doubt been looking at Microsoft's growing success with the Game Pass platform and thinking, yes, this is something that we could be doing as well and make millions, billions, just sort of like Amazon have done and f***ed up and just like Google have done and also effed up. Is this good news for Netflix then, guys? Okay? What about for Netflix shareholders? Are they gonna make more money? I guess. But the more this industry starts leaning towards subscription-based services as a means of generating revenue, the more dangerous this all becomes to us, the people actually paying for and playing the games. All right, well, take the recent Gamer Searcher, for example, which shows Google is about to start giving developers a cut based on how long people play the games, right? That might be how TV series are judged, right? But it's not how the video games work and will clearly prioritize the development of long grinds over shorter, more impactful and fun experiences in games. You get, you get what I'm saying. So obviously they're gonna have to work out some of the moving pieces in onboarding games. But you know what, I think, I think regardless of all this negative press that might be surrounding it, the fact is, Netflix has 208 million users as of April 19, 2021, guys. And look, pricing of Netflix is between $10 Australian and $15 Australian and premium is $19.99 Australian. So let's just say $12, $13 is what they're going to make, right? Um, uh, you know, across, because they're not all going to, you know, sign up for premium and I think most of them will be on basic. So let's put a price reasonably close to that. Then if what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply 208 million like this, right? And then multiply that by 13. And that's gonna be taking up to $2.7 billion. And then if you multiply that by 12 months of the year, then we're gonna look at $32 billion, right? Which is Australian dollars. So I'm gonna think that would have to be adjusted to somewhere in the 20s, right? And look, I was just looking and then boom, there it is. Their revenue is 25 billion USD in 2020. I dare say it would have increased in 2021. And, and so look, if we look at Netflix stock itself, right? It, it has been growing quite significantly since 2008. It used to be $2 per share. And then in boom, in 2021, it's 547 all-time highs hitting at right, 540, per share, which is ridiculous, right guys? And look, we've had some dips in coronavirus times, but if, especially when the coronavirus times came in, Netflix just was one of those things that people came to for comfort, for companionship, right? So, uh, so, so people are watching Netflix a lot, so of course it was gonna do well. And look, yes, it is brutal when it comes to cutting off shows out, out of the actual program, because it cares about keeping people on the platform, and that's how Netflix is always just going to be performing. Having said this, the fact that Netflix isn't moving on and they are actually providing more services and more games to its 208 million people that's gonna be that that this program is exposed to, or well, there is gonna be something in there. Really interesting though, they're not gonna be increasing the premium, but this being done right, we might actually see an even further increase on Netflix as well. So I think, uh, you know, overall with this kind of stuff, right, you wouldn't time the market. You would just sort of enter and then just hold for this for as long as you can. But in saying that, has Netflix already topped out? You know, that's another discussion that you need to actually have so that you understand that you're not entering into a market that's already saturated and it's already too hard. And, and now that I mentioned that you really need to think about the trajectory of tech stocks is as it as a picture as a bottom out. definitely it hasn't bottomed out it's definitely you know experiencing one of its peaks it was this was a really interesting extra use case that netflix is putting forward and i think one that actually has bullish sentiment and you know what they say trade on the rumor and sell on the news so up until the actual games come in i think we'll be looking at a pretty bullish outlook for netflix guys uh, but as you all know i'm not so much for picking stocks i like to diversify but i thought this was a very interesting news to cover and i and i really hope that netflix games are going to be successful and they'll really need to think about what kind of games that they need to offer so that it actually becomes the most profitable so are they going to put in really niche games that you know only the real nerds are going to play in the basements of their grandmas or are they going to be really simple games that all families and kids can and you know, can all enjoy or are they going to do a spectrum you know what is it going to be like are they going to be rewarding game design as well enough to be actually uh, to be actually doing this or are they going to just rely on their you know behemoth prowess of access to 208 million user base 
so that they can do this? Or is it going to increase user base as well? These are all worthwhile questions to ask. And I think overall, this kind of doubt, however, um, a, a positive outlook is probably one that's going to be favorable for the uh, share price of Netflix. So let's see how winter turns out to be for uh, for Netflix and you know how, how people consume content. I think this would, I think it will only continue to continue to rise. And so with that being said, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel today. I normally talk about crypto, but I thought I'd add this news in. Thank you so much. Please check out my social pipes. Go like, go like, subscribe, ring that notification bell so that you can see this face every day. Much love, peace out.